and welcome back. Uh, it's still big blog update cam. Um, the last blog update was a little bit uh, long, eight minutes for uh, one day. So maybe I'll be a bit quicker on this one. Um, so uh, we're still driving along. Leanne is still driving. Hello. And we're still on the big roads with uh, the big mountains on our side. Here we go, big mountains in the distance there. Um, and we're making our way up to Blenheim. Uh, from Kaikoura, but more to that later. Um, so, on the blog update, we got as far as getting to Taupo. So, Lake Taupo, um, we didn't go as far as interacting with the lake too much. Uh, we kind of made that the most silly point. I think by this stage, we kind of expect, we kind of like the look of the place, New Zealand, so much, so we think we might come back. So, it's not a big deal for us to leave stuff to later. But what we did do in Taupo is we had a little walk along the front, and the first thing we did was we come across a little uh, golf challenge where you had to chip a ball into. Uh, a little island that they got out somewhere in the um, somewhere in the, in the lake, about 100 metres out. Um, not the most traditionally New Zealand thing we've ever done, but uh, I mention it because I did beat John. Uh, yes, I'm going to come round for that. Yes, big, 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 uh, big beat uh, win for me. I beat John. Uh, it was uh, three, three, two, if you like, or 15 points to 10 because we had a point system in play. I got the ball to hit the pontoon three times. Uh, he only managed it twice, so yeah, there we go, mention that. And uh, as we walked down the parade, it wasn't too much further until we came to a bunch of segways. And we, uh, Leanne, John and I, all had a ride on some segways, which is very cool. Is it Leanne? Yeah, it was very cool. Especially when you fell off, my dear. <laughs> I did, I did actually succeed in falling off a segway. It's supposed to be impossible, I managed it. Uh, yeah, but there you go. <laughs> But that was that was a lot of fun. I've never I've never even seen a Segway, or, or, you know, an a option to go ride a Segway before. And we had a little ride on one of those. Um, so yeah. Segway tag. Segway tag. Um, segway racing. I've got I've done a Segway camp for that, so you can check out that for that. That was that was a lot of fun. Though. Um, then we went and had a little spot of lunch uh, in a very nice little place. Picked up a few uh, a few kitchen utensils, not the usual thing, but we were about to come to this camp, this this camping section, so we thought that wasn't a bad thing to do. And um, yeah, then we headed off to our main activity of the afternoon. Actually, we, we quickly look right, look right, look right, look right. Oh, yes, lots of forested roads, lots of forested uh, area of land. And we got big mountains coming up ahead. We did stop off at some waterfalls on the way. Do you remember that, Leanne? I can't remember where they were though. Um, it basically a, a, a really narrow ravine where the water was coming from a dam upstream. And With a really ice blue. Yeah, really ice blue, and there was so much water. So, yeah, um, what was that called? Uh, Hooker Falls. Hooker Falls, that's the one. Big tick for Leanne on that one. Thank you very much. Um, yes, yeah, so I we went to Hooker Falls, and that was amazing how much water was coming through there. It was such a narrow channel. and. I don't know, they reckon like 40 tonnes a second, I think it was, they said. It was a lot, anyway. Um, so we went from there to the main activity of our afternoon, which was the... Um, da, 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 da. Jet Rapids. Jet Rapids! Jet Rapids! Jet... OK, that's a bit insane. <laughs> so, yeah, then we did the... Uh, we did Jet Rapids. Jet Rapids! Uh, to explain what a Jet Rapid is, it's a boat um, with a really powerful engine on the back and the propeller is encased in a sort of tube to, to create a sort of jet engine effect, but instead of air flowing through, it's water flowing through. And this thing goes really quick, I don't know, 80 knots or 60 knots or something they said it goes, but at, at maximum speed it only needs 3 inches of water to go along in the water. And they take you on a ride and they go up and down these rapids, um, like white water rapid type rapids, and it basically get you really wet. Um, we got really, really, really wet. Uh, like, unbelievably wet. Like, they poured, like someone's just poured a whole bath full of water on you wet. Um, Leanne's face was a picture. <laughs> Leanne's face was an actual picture. Could you do a rendition of the face? No, not really. <laughs> I'll do a rendition of your face. It was a bit like this. That was what it was like, because I think Leanne uh, accidentally opened her mouth at this stage when the big lot of water was coming, and <laughs> it, like, <laughs> and it, I think it basically, um, yeah, almost drowned her. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, we did the jet rapids, which was, that was amazing. We got loads of good photos from that. The photos come out really well, so I have to have a look at the photos on that. And then uh, from the jet rapids, we basically drove back to John and Naomi's. Um, that stage, let me, let me have a little check of the, um, let me have a little check of my notes, make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, ah, the mud pools on the last one, update to the last vlog, I should check my notes, was Waiotapu mud pool. So, uh, yeah, the mud pools we stopped up between Rotu and Taupo were Waiotapu. Uh, there you go. Um, uh, yes, oh yeah. And Yes, and on the way to the rapid jet, we stopped at a glass blowing place. We watched a guy blowing glass. That was very interesting. Um, I've never seen anyone blow glass before. It was very, very interesting. He was making lots of lots of art shapes rather than sort of glasses or anything. He was making art shapes. But um, we picked up a starfish from there, like a little uh, paperweight, a bit of a memento from our uh, time away. But yeah, it is worth mentioning that both John, in terms of the rapid jet, both John and the guys at the rapid jet place significantly underplayed how wet we'd get. Uh, John described as getting a bit wet. Uh, the guys at the uh, rapid jet just said we'd get wet. Um, it was actually like I'd taken my clothes out of the washing machine before they'd gone and the spin dry and put them on. It was, they were that wet. I could bring them out easily. So. Um, and that's uh, the that's end of that bit, really. That takes us back to Cambridge after our little round trip. Yeah. Anything we've missed out there? I think so. Okay, well, I'll sign off there on that one. Bye. Bye, Bye.